It was my first like big roller coaster wave where it was like going so well. One of the biggest adversities I'd faced in my life related to sport, and then all of a sudden it turned out to put me on a path where it was one of the best things that had ever happened. Would there be anything you would do differently? Um, um, I guess to help prepare you either for the now or to maximise the time whilst you were there. I'd probably drink water between shots. <laughs> <laughs> and I got home one day and I said to my wife, I said, listen, it's the baby or the dog. One of them's got to go. <laughs> That's when my life changed that day in terms of the way I viewed things, my perspective, um, and really went from, you know, blaming others or having excuses to really taking ownership of my own life. And I get on the bus and he's sitting at like the front bit of the bus where you walk up, you see him straight there. Yeah. But I'm sitting on the, I'm, I'm walking up the bus and I make eye contact with him and he looks at me and he's like, I thought you were the mascot. <laughs> Still got dropped and I, like, I, I honestly reckon playing, not playing that game would have been better for me. It could have been a completely different story. It could have yeah. ended up playing in the granny. Um, yeah. ultimate, ultimate goal is to just retire in Spain somewhere with an orange juice cart and sell orange juice for the rest of my life. <laughs> but between, I know, it's, I can see that happening. I'll, but, I'll join you. I'll have the sangria bus. That's the beauty of the endurance sports. It's, it's kind of a, like a metaphor of life. You never know what's around the corner. Yeah. You can be good. And then all of a sudden you get a punch in the head. You say, where'd that come from? <laughs> you know, just...